there are four research databases, four research profiles. The first one is Web of Science, which is very, very important among all. We know that effect factor of every journal is basically calculated from Web of Science. We get information from Web of Science. The second is basically Scopus. Now, we calculated site score, you know, site score, which is somehow similar to impact factor uh, using information from Scopus, right? And you will see also there, there is a differences among the citations, right? The third one is basically Google Scholar. The last one is ResearchGate. And uh, let me talk in detail here. In this document, basically, I compare uh, four profiles. And you can see that two things are basically common citations and H index. All these four uh, profiles or databases uh, give uh, information about the citation and H index. Citation means that uh, once you are writing a paper and when you uh, give reference of my paper, my document, uh, and when you publish your work, so I will get one uh, citations, right? This is how citation work. H index means that how many papers, how many maximum paper uh, got maximum citations. It is it is very important parameter uh, for a researcher. Okay. Now let's uh, see uh, in detail. Google Scholar basically free, available. Everybody can make profile, and it summarizes uh, uh, your document electronically and give uh, the information about the citation and H index, and it automatically uploads the document. This is the profile you can see here. Right. The second one is now Scopus. Uh, Scopus is, as I explained, this is uh, run by Elsevier and it is used for citation analysis and it is not free available, but once you are the reviewer of Elsevier and when you review uh, for Elsevier, uh, so it will give you one month subscription and you can use uh, uh, Scopus and it, it also automatically upload the published article and it also compare uh, two things. You can see here uh, the citations and H index. The third profile is basically ResearchGate. ResearchGate is also free available and it is best for discussion and debate. You know, and the, the, you have to upload your articles. The ResearchGate is not automatically uploading articles, you have to upload, right? And again, it also compares the uh, citations and its index. And it also gives some additional uh, parameter that uh, compare the uh, others, the researcher uh, with other researchers, that is called research interest score. The last one is basically Web of Science, and as I explained that it is used for citation analysis and it is not free available, not free available, right? And it again, it automatically uploads the uh, article. Uh, and it is more comprehensive. You can see here, uh, it not only uh, compare the H index, uh, uh, index, but it also uh, gives uh, so many other things. You see here, uh, it gives the number of documents, uh, the verified peer reviews, uh, in those things right so this is this was all about these four research for